viewers, welcome to the Gerber Children's Wear channel, where we like to show you some very simple and affordable ways to turn Gerber products and a few household items into some very cute gifts to give to a new parent or to be the hit of any baby shower. Let's get started. Today's craft is a very exciting one. Today we're going to show you step by step how to make this Gerber baby bouquet. Now you'll notice instead of flowers, which can carry allergens and you don't want to take those to a new hospital, we're going to be using baby socks. And this is just a very cute way, a very exciting and fun way to give one of those items that a baby is going to first need uh, to a new mom. And this is sure to put a smile on her face. So let's get started. One of the first things that you'll need is a vase. And make sure it's a vase that you can't see through. Make sure it's opaque. The next thing you're going to need is a foam insert. Make sure that it's the same size as your vase so that it can fit easily down inside of your vase. The next thing that you're going to need is your trusty pair of scissors. And you'll also need a green ribbon because this is going to be our greenery and it needs to have a wire at either end of the ribbon. The next thing that you're going to need are Gerber spoons. You'll need one spoon for each flower. And lastly, but most importantly, you'll definitely need to go pick up from your local national retailer, or you can order this online, your convenient six pack of Gerber baby socks. Now these come in a variety of different colors, so feel free to customize your bouquet based on maybe the baby's gender, a sports team, or even the colors of the nursery. All right, let's get started. The first thing that you're going to grab is your vase and your foam insert. Just put the foam insert straight down into the vase, like so. Set it to the side. The next thing you're going to grab is your first pair of baby socks. You want to put them side by side, and we're going to make our very first flower. Take one of your thumbs, insert it into one of the holes of the sock, and proceed to roll it over itself until the brim of the sock reaches the toes. Now you have a nice floral shape here. And now you're going to grab one of your Gerber spoons. All right, and you'll notice in the back of the flower you have a hole right here. So you're going to grab your spoon by the handle and just insert the spoon part into the back of your flower. This is super easy and it only takes a second to make one. And there you go. That was super simple. It only took a few seconds to make our first flower. And you want to set that to the side and repeat the process with the other spoons. And I've gone ahead and done that here. So now we have our six flowers. The next thing that we want to do is to make our leaves. So you want to pull your ribbon out and cut it as long as you want your leaves to be. But for me, I'm just going to cut it about eight inches. The next thing you want to do is take your leaves and twist them at the middle just like this, okay? The next thing you want to do is take the end of the ribbon and you want to twist that together. You're making the shape of a leaf here and then you just want to bend it back on itself to make that leaf shape just like this. Super easy, right? Now you want to do it with the other side. Twist it together and then fold it over. All right, now you want to bend it together so it looks like some leaves. And feel free to get creative and uh, bend your leaves and shape them however would best fit inside your vase. All right, so feel free to bend them over like this. Now, what you want to do is take your vase and take your first flower, and you're just going to place your flower on top of the uh, leaf. And as you're going down into the foam insert and pressing that spoon, you want to make sure that you're on top of the leaf. So you're just going to press down into the foam insert. And now your leaves are secure. Super easy, right? Repeat that process with the other five spoons. And I've gone ahead and made a few leaves here. So I'll go ahead and put those in. I like to put about four leaves in my bouquet. And I like to put five flowers around the outside of the vase and one right in the middle. So for the middle flower, you don't really need to put uh, leaves in that one, as you just want the leaves on the outside brim. All right, I'm going to put these leaves in this side here. 
All right, you can see how those look there. And now we're just going to put our very last two flowers on this side. And this is our last leaf over here. Put that down in there. All right. And if you want to add another leaf, it's not a crime. All right. And there we go. That didn't take too long at all, did it? And look how awesome that looks. There are so many different ways to customize your bouquet, so we've made a couple other options just to give you some more ideas. And if you'd like to wrap a ribbon around your vase, that's a very simple way to dress it up as well. Well, thank you so much for watching, and we've really loved making this video for you. Join us next time at Gerber Children's Wear. Bye-bye.